Hello everyone, this is Hieropania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, for the 3DS. Previously, at Allblades Arena, the party completed the tournament and saved Nava. The door to success. The humans are revolting against the monsters here. And now it's time for us to go up and confront that fake high priest. Back in All Trades Abbey. One moment, if you would. Ah, it's the High Priestess. Hello, Jackie. My apologies. I did not mean to alarm you. I take it you remember me. I am Jacqueline, High Priestess of All Trades Abbey. I have come to join forces with you in the fight against the imposter who usurped me. It would not befit one of my position to cower in a corner and allow others to do my fighting for me. In the name of all my illustrious forebears, I must fight alongside you and rid this place of evil. High Priestess Jacqueline joins the party. Welcome, Jacqueline. Finally, it's time we got our Finally, it's time we got our own back on that horrible high priest. Whatever that high priest says to you, Davalos, however convincing he sounds, don't you dare don't you dare jump into that pool. Having our abilities taken away again is the last thing we need. Ready when you are, Davalos, let's go and give that high priest a thrashing. The rebellion in the arena should keep the monsters occupied. Now is the perfect moment to strike at the fa to strike at the false high priest. I'm going to make that nasty lying high priest pay for everything he's put us through. Davalos, I shall need your help to rid this place of the false high priest who has sold it. Come, we have no time to lose. Enter Jacqueline. The party, on, the party are en route to encounter the fake High Priest when they hear a familiar voice. It's High Priestess Jacqueline. She's come to help them eradicate the monsters from the Abbey and has brought her bodyguards with her. It's time for our heroes to team up with the High Priestess and reclaim all trades from the imposters. Yes, indeed. Hello. Her grace speaks very highly of your talents. I have every th I have every faith that you can knock that imposter's block off. We understand that the revolt against the monsters is in full swing in the arena area. We have been stationed here to mop up any monsters who try to make a break for it. Don't worry, Maribel. We'll be careful against him. I see monsters around. The door seems to be sealed with a mysterious power. So, no leaving right now. Oh, hello up there. Come now, friend. Surely, ex 
Surely the experience you have gained in combat is reward enough? Surely the journey of self-discovery has given you ample freedom? Don't give me that mumbo-jumbo. I want real freedom. I won your stupid arena challenge fair and square. Now let me leave. As you wish. You'll be permitted to leave. Or rather, your corpse will. Gahaha! It seems I got a little carried away. There won't even... There won't even be a corpse to dispose of this time. You jerk. Whoa, whoa, what just happened? One minute that man was on fire, and then he was just gone. Come on, Davalos, let's take him down. A monster like that doesn't deserve any mercy. Pitiless fiend, it is high time we brought his reign of terror to an end. All right, nasty. Time to confront the false high priest. Gahaha, high priestess, what an honor. But you are too late. The power required to bring back our master, the power required to bring our master back to strength has already been gathered. We have no more need of your precious human supplicants and their so-called skills. The power reaped from the desperation of the combatants in our little arena proved far more, po proved far more potent than we had imagined. But do not think that you will be allowed to leave this place. You and your kind have outlived your usefulness. As such, you will be disposed of. All of you. Gahaha! <laughs> That's what you think. Time to battle Cardinal Sin. Time to buff up. Sap his strength. Hmm, sizzle. Magic barrier, huh? That won't help you too much. Bang won't help you either. Thanks for our magic vestments. And, of course, he can attack twice. More bang. Bye-bye, Cardinal Sin. Bring your magic vestments. Thanks to Davalos and his companions, the monsters plan to channel the power drained from the humans to their master, the mighty Demon King, ends in failure. The priests and guards of all trades, freed from captivity at last, flood back into the abbey and drive out all the interlopers. And with the monsters gone, the Abbey begins to recover its familiar atmosphere and energy. Then, a few days later... Back in control. It's finally over. All Trades Abbey is safe once more. Right, let's pick ourselves a vocation and move on to our next destination, shall we? 
I'm fed up with this place, Davalos. Can we go somewhere else? We'll be gone before long, Ruff. All's well, all's well at all trades. Thanks to our hero's efforts, the fake high priest has been deposed. And his plan to steal the human strength in order to empower the demon king has ended in failure. As the displaced priests and abbots return to the abbey and clear out the remaining monsters, peace returns to all trades once again. Good to know. A leather hat. Deary, deary me, will the princess ever grow up and stop trying to give her poor parents a heart attack every five minutes? It's so unfair. I was born to wear those adorable furry ears. Well, if I can't be a bunny girl, I don't want to be anything. I'm never ever going back to my stupid kingdom ever again. With everyone having left town, there was no sense keeping the bank over in Pilgrim's Perdition open. Now I'm wondering what my next career move should be. Oh no, I just remembered I left behind that strange stone object one of our customers left with us for safekeeping. Ah oh, well, they never came back to collect it, and I don't expect there will be many unsavory sorts snooping around the place. It's probably fine just staying there. Interesting. A strange stone object. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Indeed. The monsters have all been booted out, and peace has finally returned to all trades Abbey. Best of all, I'll finally be able to change my vocation, but for the moment, I already have a job to be getting on with. As innkeeper. All right. Time to check out the Abbey. Oh, here are Eustace and Fingers. And you're sure you have no regrets, even after having been through so much to fulfill your dream of working here? Nah, I decided it ain't for me, mate. A common thief ain't got no business working in a big, posh old place like this. Ta for the opportunity and all, but I ain't cut out for the old elite bodyguard in the game. Well, I for one will be sad to see you go. Don't give me that. You never wanted me working here in the first place. Did you think I couldn't tell? N no I... that is, I... um... Listen, I know when it's time for me to sling me oak. It's been nice knowing you and your mates, Davalos. Be lucky, eh? Take care, Eustace. Oh, and give me regards to that Zev bloke and his sister, won't you? See you later, Fingers. I didn't want to say anything, but I could never have imagined Fingers in a guard's uniform. Everyone's happiest when they're doing what they do best, and for Fingers, that's stealing. A farewell to Fingers. Fingers decides to give up on his dream of becoming part of the High Priestess's personal guard. He seems to have come to the conclusion that he's not very well suited to the work. He says goodbye to Eustace and the party, and walks away from the Abbey once and for all. So Fingers is gone. I suppose it will soon be time for Zev and Nava to leave too. I wonder if I could persuade Nava to stay here with me. Gah, but even if she wanted to stay, we'd still have Zev to contend with. Why do things have to be so complicated? I want to shout a bit and listen to the echoes, but maybe this isn't the time. The building hasn't changed at all since we took it back from the monsters, but it feels more holy somehow. 
Do you think it's because the High Priestess has come back? She does have that kind of aura. An item shop. I think we're good on items. The Gold Bank. I'm good, sir. Thank you. To think, I didn't have the first clue the monsters had captured all trades Abbey. All those poor folks who got done over by that fake high priest are still alive, ain't they? Um, I guess so. Yeah, I knew it. I've seen them coming back from that pilgrim's perdition place. Hopefully, my feller's on his way back, too. I can't wait to see him. Oh, hello, Zev. Ah, there you are. You can be the first to congratulate me on my new job. I've just become a warrior. Oh, have you now? So what do you think? I'm looking tougher already, right? My sister will be impressed. I just know she will. Well, anyway, no time to chat. See you around. Well, see you around, Zev. Zev's new armor looked really shiny. It was so clean, you could eat your dinner off it. Hey, Davalos. Will you be will you buy me some armor like that? And some dinner. After all he's been through, I thought he might have grown up a bit, but no such luck. A weapon shop. Wizard staff. The armor shop. Nothing especially good. Here's the pub. Ah, it's great to be back doing this again. We're not going to let any rotten monsters pull a stunt like that ever again. Good for you. Everyone seems really happy to be back in the Abbey. We've only just chased the monsters out, but things are already getting back to the way they were. It won't be long before we are run off our feet, just like the good old days. I heard that the powers that be are planning on hiring scores of new guards to boost the Abbey's defenses. I suppose we did leave ourselves rather vulnerable by relying on such a small force to protect us. Bookshelves? Davalos picks up one of the priest's diaries and peruses it. The monsters have breached our defenses. It is only a matter of time before they overrun us. But whatever happens, we must not allow them to get their hands on the High Priestess. I will defend her with my life if necessary. Nothing of interest. There's something sticking out from between two books. It's an etching of Jacqueline, High Priestess of All Trades Abbey. Hello. I've spent ages researching ways to change my vocation and become a hero with minimal effort. Sadly, it doesn't look like I'm going to be finding a shortcut to savior status anytime soon. Still no books of interest, huh? Oh well. Now let's check downstairs on the first floor. Hello. A warm welcome to All Trades Abbey. Human beings are remarkable creatures. Through hard work and perseverance, they can discover abilities they never knew they had. 
Why, for all we know, one of our visitors could one day find a vocation here that would enable them to save the world. Hmm, now that I think about it, that must be the reason the Demon King sealed this island off from the others in the first place. Yes, most likely. Welcome to All Trades Abbey, where the vocation for you is only a wish away. There are so many different vocations out there, how is anyone supposed to make up their mind? If I was going to change my vocation, I'd pick the strongest one there is. Is weightlifter a vocation? How about muscle man? Shh, don't bother me now. I'm trying to think of which vocation to use. I'm trying to think of which vocation to choose. Hello? When you change vocations, you'll learn the spells and abilities associated with your new career choice. With a basic job like a warrior or priest, you'll then be able to use those spells and abilities no matter what vocation you change to. But be aware that it's different with more advanced vocations, the ones that can only be accessed after honing your skills in a basic vocation to a high level. In the case of these particular jobs, there are spells and abilities that can only be used while you are following that career path. That is a change from the PSX version. Ready to, ready to be amazed? I can tell how far you've advanced in your vocations just by looking at you. Interested? Not yet, ma'am. Oh, well, come again. This book gives access to the most ad this book gives access to the most advanced vocations, but they are only available to those who have mastered more everyday forms of employment first. Do you wish to read it? Certainly. So we have the gladiator, requires warrior and martial artist. Armamentalist requires warrior and mage. Sage requires mage and priest. Luminary requires dancer, jester, and troubadour. Monster masher requires thief and shepherd. Pirate requires thief and sailor. Paladin requires martial artist and priest. Champion requires gladiator and paladin. Druid requires sage and illuminary. And hero, available only to those who master a select variety of vocations. And there are also monster vocations, which require monster hearts. Take care then, child. Thank you. Ah, here is Evan Nava. So, what do you think, sis? I suit being a warrior, wouldn't you say? I know it might be dangerous, but I'm going to fight hard and make money and do all I can to cure your illness. No, I can't let you put yourself in danger. What if you get hurt? I'm not going to. I'm tougher than you think, okay? And I'm only going to get tougher. I'm already tougher than that Eustace, so you won't need to rely on him anymore. From now on, anything you want, just ask me. Stop it! Just stop it! It's too much! What makes you think I want people going out of their way to help me all the time? Stop making a martyr of yourself for my sake! I'm not being a martyr. I'm your brother. I love you, and I want to do the best for you, that's all. It's too much, don't you see? You always make me feel like I'm a burden to you. always make me feel like I'm a burden you have to carry. Can't you see how difficult that makes things for me? Sometimes I almost wish you weren't here, trying to look after me all the time. Oh, I get it. So you're trying to tell me I'm the burden? Humph! Fine! Oh, dear. Where are you going? I'm going to buy a sword, all right. A warrior needs a sword, doesn't he? Um... I thought you had just been buying stuff. Oh yes, he's quite the warrior. 
With his shiny new sword, I'm sure he'll be more than a match for all the bandits out there. What's wrong with Zev? He looked really upset. A warrior's life for Zev. The Abbey's back in action, and Zev has changed vocations to become a warrior. It seems his choice of career was an attempt to make his sister think more of him. Unfortunately, it seems to have the opposite effect. Nava gets upset and tells him he has to stop making her feel like a burden. Zev takes this completely the wrong way and storms off on his w and storms off on his own to buy a sword. I'm sorry, but I don't want to speak to anyone right now. Hello. Do you know why those monsters were stealing people's powers? Yes, I have an idea. Oh, you do, do you? My word, news travels fast. What if we say no? Well, I couldn't believe it when I heard it. Apparently, they were going to use it to make the Demon King stronger. Indeed. There's no need to get the job j there's no need to get the job changing jitters, you know. Even if you switch vocations, you're not going to go back to level one or anything. Oh no, you can put that thought right out of your head. So if you've got a lot of adventuring ahead of you, you might as well try your hand at a career of some kind. Did you know the high priestess here was just a little girl? I'm worried about changing me job now. How can I be sure she really knows what she's doing, eh? She seemed fairly competent in the boss battle. Anything down here? Ah, a chest. Another prayer ring. One hundred thirty gold. Well, the one piece of good news about the monster's sojourn here in the Abbey is that they did not think to change the decor. I would have hated to come back here and find carvings of the Demon King or anything awful like that. I guess they weren't here for long enough. Hello. As a reward for rescuing the High Priestess, Eustace has been promoted to commander of her personal guard. I'll just have to get used to taking orders from yet another person, much younger than me, I suppose. Davalos picks up what looks like a ledger. It contains a list of every priest. It contains a list of every priest who works at Altrade's Abbey, along with marks out of ten and a range of categories. Anything out here? Ah, a chest. A seat of life. And what have we here? A yellow fragment. That is this fragment, from the basement of All Trades Abbey. Number 9.
This is no good. Those monsters have gone and kept the old place spick and span. I was hoping there'd be all manner of odd jobs that needed doing, but no such luck. Oh well. Hello there. If any monsters ever even think about coming back here, I'm going to pick up a sword and fight them off myself. Good for you. A chest with a seat of strength. Empty pot. A couple more chests here. Well, well, another mini medal. Number 27. And a seat of magic. All right. And some more here. More pots and barrels. Fifty gold. Hello, boy. All Trades Abbey is really, really big. It makes my house look really small and rubbish. Oh, here are Zev and Eustace. So you're leaving Nava behind. It's clear I'm only it's clear I'm only going to be causing her trouble if I hang around. It's better this way. I will be very happy to look after her in your stead, but I need to know that I have your blessing. Look, this is between this is between you and my sister. It's none of my business. I I see. Well, good luck on your journey. Thanks. Look after her, okay? See you, Zev. But, but I don't understand. If Zev loves Nava, why is he going off and leaving her on her own? So Zev has finally come to a decision, has he? I suppose he didn't really have much of a choice. A farewell to Zev. The party find Eustace and Zev arguing outside the Abbey. It seems that Zev is going to go away by himself and leave Nava to her own devices. He asks, Eus he asks Eustace to look after his sister and then disappears into the distance. Oh well. I'm sorry you had to see our little fight before. I know what it must have looked like, but there aren't any hard feelings between Zev and me, I can assure you. But where can he be? Surely it doesn't take that long to buy a sword. Sorry, Nava. He's no longer here. I take it you'll be leaving us before long, too? Well, it's to be expected. You only came here to change vocations, after all. Gah, what am I going to do? How am I supposed to break the news to Nava? There's no way Zev told her he was leaving. 
This is typical of him. Well then, next time we'll take on vocations. And continue our journey to save the world. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.